Hi, I'm Tony Cho. You're watching Animation Trivia. Where, of course, this is a new edition for Animation News. Where Animation Trivia, where I talk about things that are like a pop culture reference or, you know, like are, you know, parodies. But I do have a set of rules. That, that it can't be like a Family Guy cutaway. So, or if it's good reference so many times. I'm not going to bother editing them. But, you know, but I'm not saying it's the worst idea ever. I'm just saying that we can't just add to that. You know? I can't add anything that Family Guy had ever done, you know? But, you know, just I don't do spoofs. But, you know, just only the references. No, no spoofs. Okay? Okay. And for this animation trivia, we're going to do is Star Wars Day. And yes, and on the uh, Wishology trilogy, one for part two, where we see Dark Laser. And of course, you know, one of Timmy Turner's enemies, enemies besides Mr. Crocker, who's in a fur coat, could kind of represent Chewbacca. And you see Vicky... Who's like wearing like some buns like Princess Leia? You see, Timmy Turner was given a blue light lightsaber looking thing for you know to represent Luke Skywalker. While while Mark, the f now friend of Timmy Turner, who of course dressed up like R two D two, and then the next reference. Which is from the pilot. Well, of course, just call Fairy Law Pairs from OEA Cartoons. We see Cosmo and Wanda with those tie fires. Where Wanda says the force is strong with this one. Referencing a Darth Vader line from with the franchise that started it all, A New Hope. And then Cosmo, however, quoted the The Empire Strikes Back, also from Vader. I am your father. And then he looked at the audience and said he always wanted to say that. Even though it's not, the line was not used till The Empire Strikes Back, which was the best Star Wars moment of all time with a twist. And speaking of Empire Strikes Back, we see uh, Cosmo dressing up Darth Vader. With Timmy Turner being Luke Skywalker again. Battle inside Bespin and then interrupted by Jar Jar Binks. And of course says that Misa no thank you Yusuf fighting up and which ironic when Butch Hartman according to his TikTok saying that that he did see, you know, the Phantom Menace and he was disappointed by it. For me, I watched The Phantom Menace, and I enjoyed it. Moving on, where we see two of Gumball's friends dressed like a Jedi and with the clown looking with the Princess Leia bun, just did a reference of The Empire Strikes Back. You know, like the scene at Hoth, where she tied up one of Gumball's classmates' legs. While he was running rampant in the city. But they achieved it in time for him to rest. But. Speaking of Star Wars reference. It ain't over yet. Where we see another Bespin moment. With Richard Wa Waterson. Gumball's dad. Just throwing things like he was a Jedi. Confronting a teapot, who's he having to fight with? Like he was the Sith. But Gumball, by, his, by Richard Rodderson, looks like a Jedi. Then he won the match against the teapot. And the references don't stop here. Yes, even though I'm not a fan of this show. 
Let's get right to this, everyone, where I talk about Teen Titans Go. But, but, there is a Star Wars reference on there. Where, of course, the Titans go to the Jets to, uh, stop, stop the evasion from happening. Where they go into that Death Star looking spaceship. Which outside, which is a reference to, uh, which is the same look as a New Hope's, you know, ex exterior. But the plan was to destroy the reactor from the interior, which was from Return of the Jedi. But, yeah, that's all I got to say. As this show did not interest me, so we're going to move on from that, okay? But this the reference was from the ending of the episode of the Powerpuff Girls, which involves, of course, Boogie Nights, where, of course, the uh, monsters were boogieing all night, thanks to the Boogeyman, which is like a frightening monster in disco clothes. But he was trying to make sure that there's no more daylight all night partying. But the Powerpuff Girls are a bunch of party poopers. But, yeah. But he was the insomnia creator. And here comes, he's trying to, uh, you know, make sure to protect the uh, Death Star looking disco ball. And prevent from being destroyed. But the Powerpuff Girls are inhabited as Blossom and Buttercup have their eyes shut like like they are the TIE Fighters. And the and that was a reference of the of the Battle of Yavin scene where Darth Vader had the same thing. And then and then Blossom told Bubbles to blow this thing up so we could go to bed. And Bubbles did it. She, she shot lasers from her eyes into that reactor, just like Luke Skywalker. Just like Luke Skywalker did. And then... They got up, and Bubbles was smiling, and the party's over, as the monsters have faded away. And... <laughs> oh my god... There's no end to the best bin. It references this there. As we see on Wander Over Yonder, which of course has some Star Wars reference, we get another best bin moment. We're at best bin, however. Like a confrontation between Lord Hater and Peeps, who is voiced by Tom Kenny and Keith Ferguson. And then we see, of course, was trying to, they were to tag Peeps. And then Peeps says, put him in frozen carbonite. And one of the eye soldiers to say, you accidentally froze him. And then Peeps just say accidentally with air quotes. But yeah, there's no anti-Bespin references. Oh, and speaking of which, there is a Death Star reference where, where of course, digging at the moon at Space Station. Oh, thank God, another, another New Hope reference. And that's Lord Hater Space. That they found it. And another. Well, and I think that's going to do out it for the kids' uh, show variant of. Of the May 4th edition of Animation Trivia. I will be back tomorrow for Revenge of the 5th. With, of course. Adult Animation. So, get ready guys. I'm telling y'all. Thank you for watching Animation Trivia. And, may the force be with you. Always.